name's Simran Pia and I'm here to represent Sophia Jex Blake. Hi, my name's Izzy Daguerre and I'm representing Emily Bavell. I'm Caitlin Taylor and I'm representing Matilda Chaplin. So the University of Edinburgh opened its doors to women's students in 1869. And despite being successful in their studies, resistance towards them grew throughout 1870 and ultimately ended in a riot here at Surgeons Hall. The women not only passed the exam that they sat here, they went on to pass all the exams that they needed to qualify for a degree. But a legal ruling in 1873 prevented the women from graduating. We're here right outside McEwen Hall where we, myself and six other students, will be receiving posthumous degrees for the Edinburgh Seven. Having access to education is something that I feel myself and other girls of my generation sort of take for granted. However, learning more about the Edinburgh Seven and the hardships that particularly Sophia Jex Blake went through to receive and learn and appreciate me medicine is something that really stood out to me. So it's really important that they do get acknowledgement for the hard work that they did, not just to receive a degree in medicine, but to spread awareness about um, women's access to education. I think it's really important uh, what's happening today uh, to recognize the achievements of these women. But I also think it's a useful gesture that will hopefully bring a spotlight onto ongoing gender-based issues in healthcare that still exist. I just feel like I'm in a privileged position to be able to do this. It's an honor, really. I think it's so important that we follow in the footsteps of the number seven and break down the barriers that may be stopping people from accessing higher education. I come from an area in rural Scotland where the progression rates to areas like university or further study is very, very low. And I think it's so important that we show some of these talented young people that they have the potential to do anything they want to do.